Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is the 37th episode of my Black Ops 2 Weapon Guide. This time, we're covering the Ballistic Knife. Returning from the first Black Ops, this spring-loaded blade rounds out the special weapons on offer, and is unlocked to level 49. The Ballistic Knife is a futuristic interpretation of earlier Soviet designs, where spring-loaded blades or pylum knives emerged in the late 1970s. Not much more than a knife blade latched in a spring-loaded tube, the real-life effectiveness of such a weapon is questionable. They were supposedly employed by elite Spetsnaz troops, but there is some doubt as to whether this is actually the case. Most examples seen were manufactured as rather dangerous novelty weapons within the United States. Soviet forces did make limited use of a survival knife capable of firing a single pistol cartridge, however. The NRS-2 Special Scout Knife. No doubt more effective than anything launched with springs, the blade on such weapons was fixed, and aside from the shooting mechanism in the handle, functioned in the same fashion as any other fixed blade. In-game, the ballistic knife's damage is uncompromising. A successful hit with a launch blade will always result in a one-shot kill. Your accuracy with the weapon is challenged by the non-linear trajectory your blade will take, dropping over time to carve a graceful parabolic arc. This, coupled with the fact that the projectile has a non-zero travel time, will mean that longer distance shots require a touch of adjustment. You must aim above and ahead of your intended mark. The further away the enemy, the higher you'll need to aim, and in the case of moving targets, you must predict their path and aim to strike ahead. These factors make aiming difficult, and luck is a huge factor, no doubt, but it's worth bearing in mind in cases where you're going for distant targets. Rate of fire is low. The need to reload after every single shot is the major limiting factor here. Given the high lethality and low fire rate, it's worth taking at least a little time to aim, as a miss will leave you vulnerable. Technically, all fire with the ballistic knife is from the hip, but hip fire spread is not a factor, with your shots going precisely where you aim them. Handling is generally pretty good. Recoil is not a factor given the single shot nature and slow fire rate, and the instant pinpoint accuracy from the hip means there's no aim time to speak of either. Switch times are very good, and your mobility almost superhuman, as you'll move at 102% of the base speed. You'll only get a single shot per reload with the ballistic knife, so you can consider the magazine capacity particularly low, although thankfully reloads are very quick, taking just over a second to complete. You'll spawn with four blades in total, one ready to fire, and three in reserve. It's also entirely possible to retrieve any fired blades from where they land, simply walk over them to collect. If you're diligent and track down your blades, you'll be able to retain sufficient supply for sustained use of the weapon. Our build with the Ballistic Knife is all about such sustainable use of your equipment. The ability to resupply your lethal blades and tactical options a core strategy. Beyond this, we'll also be making sure your mobility is up to snuff for direct employment of your bladed instrument. And to that end, our first selection is Lightweight. A 7% boost to your mobility useful in terms of getting close to your opponent, and here the conventional stabbing ability of your knife can be employed in cases where you don't want to break stealth by firing a blade. Next, Perk 2 Greed permits two choices from the second tier, for a particularly potent combination for an equipment-heavy build. First is Scavenger. With this perk equipped, you'll resupply your supply of knives, lethals and tacticals in one fell swoop. This means you can worry less about your remaining supply, and instead focus on your target. Paired with our next choice, Fast Hands, equipment can become an integral part of your overall strategy, as you'll be able to toss your ordnance more readily while enjoying the benefits of frequent top-ups. This perk helps lessen the risk of such tactics, as being caught tossing a grenade can be harmful to your reactive ability. Next, Perk 3 Greed lets us load up on another two perks from the final tier, as we have a plethora of points not needed for a primary or any attachments. Our first choice is Tactical Mask. Movement is key to your success, so getting caught by a stun grenade is harmful to your odds of survival. This perk also comes in useful if you're making liberal use of your own tactical options. From time to time, you'll catch yourself in the blast radius, so a quicker recovery is an oft-welcome trait. Our final perk choice is Dexterity. Permitting both faster mantling of objects and better recovery from sprinting, you'll be able to more quickly gain a positional advantage while minimizing the time you'll be left unable to fire. 
For a conventional knife build, dexterity is less useful as you can knife mid-sprint, but with the ballistic option, you can't fire until you've endured the recovery period. Our final two points are spent on equipment, a cornerstone of our build and a great complement to our weapon. First up is the Combat Axe, another lethal bladed option and similar in approach to the ballistic knife with its one-hit kill and parabolic trajectory. Useful in cases where you miss a launched blade, a quick toss is faster than a reload and gives you another potential chance to swiftly end a gunfight before you find it fall out of your favour. Similarly able to tilt engagements towards your gain is our final pick 10 choice, a concussion grenade. Stunning your opposition will make it much easier to stick them with a launched blade, eliminating the need to predict their movements. Alternatively, an immobilized enemy will prove much more pliant to a simple shanking. If you're close enough, it's always a more reliable option to knife than to trust a flung blade. That's our build, an equipment focus set designed to assist you in your bladed endeavors, all while keeping your equipment supplies at the ready. Save for a better ranged ability with your spring-loaded capability, you'll want to approach the ballistic knife in the same way you might a conventional combat knife. Outmaneuvering the opposition to force close-range engagements is key, so if all else fails, you can resort to more traditional knife tactics. The ballistic knife is an interesting secondary weapon that will both improve your melee performance and grant a unique one-hit ranged ability. For a knife-only build, the mobility and melee speed bonuses are a nice touch, and unlike a conventional knife-only build, you'll no longer be left entirely helpless at a distance. With the blade's high degree of lethality upon impact and the ability to pick up spent blades from where they fall, it's quite possible to sustain such a style of play indefinitely. Of course, landing accurate shots with the ballistic knife takes practice, and it's easy for a shot to go astray. The parabolic arc paired with a non-zero travel time adds much in the way of shot difficulty, so it's inevitable that you'll miss some critical shots from time to time. It can be easy to lose track of your fired blades too, and as you only start with four, you may find yourself running out quite often and reduced to using the knife in a melee-only capacity. Still, the ability to launch such a deadly one-shot projectile places the ballistic knife some degrees ahead of the standard combat knife in terms of effectiveness. Sticks and stones might break your bones, but if you're looking to add insult to injury, then here's a little tip for you. Get the point. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. Join me next week when I'll be covering the M1216. Until then, farewell.